Hello and welcome to Backstage. I'm Sarah Edwards. As funeral plans are being mapped out, family, friends, political leaders, and television viewers across the country are mourning the loss of Tim Russert. The popular moderator for NBC's Meet the Press, who died Friday of a massive heart attack, has left big shoes to fill professionally and personally. Here is our Sarah Zapp with more. Sarah, journalists are still reeling today from the shocking death of one of the industry's most beloved guys, Tim Russert, the host of NBC's Meet the Press. You know, I remember covering the New Hampshire presidential primary and meeting him, and he was like a rock star in that political arena. Well, on this show, we wanted to take a moment to show you how the rest of the country is remembering and celebrating Tim Russert. Everyone is still reeling from the sudden passing of Tim Russert. He was a journalist that made all journalists proud. And he was a great father and uh, the real deal. We're going to talk about Tim this morning because he was such a force to be reckoned with around here, not only on the professional side, but boy, he was a driving force personally Absolutely. as well. The outpouring of praise for Tim Russert is continuing to flood the airways after a sudden deadly heart attack on Friday for one big reason. The question I'm most often asked about Tim is, is he really a good guy as he looks like? And the truth is, he was a better guy. On Monday morning, Tim's family spoke out for the first time since his passing on the Today Show. And who else better than the apple of Tim's eye, his son, Luke Russert. You mentioned your mom. How is your mom? <sighs> well, he's taking it tough. Uh, he's taking it, definitely taking his toll on her. Uh, she grieves like a wife and I grieve like a son, so it's a different type of grieving, but we're definitely in the same boat. We miss uh, my father immensely. Russert not only leaves behind his beloved wife, Maureen Orth, the journalist at Vanity Fair, his only son, his dad, Big Russ, but also his legendary political TV show. From NBC News in Washington, this is Meet the Press with Tim Russert. Our issues this Sunday... Tim Russert started every edition of Meet the Press with those four words. His signature Sunday morning show, Meet the Press, which he hosted for 17 years on NBC, took the time to honor and remember their colleague and friend. And we'll be able to know that we knew this man with his boyish enthusiasm. That's what the records won't show, but we'll know that. He was great fun. He was a great companion. And really, uh, he saw himself as a mentor uh, to me and I think to so many others. He knew instinctively what it was that you had said, which was going to be interesting to people at home. If you don't have the curiosity, it shows. I'm Tom Brokaw. There are so many stories that we could tell about Tim, so many moments that shaped and defined him and our nation. It was this show where Russert put even the biggest political bigwigs on the spot. Do you ever want to be president? No. You know, I ever? Would, no, I really... Never. <laughs> You'll never run. You gonna run for president? <laughs> we'll hear it here first. But it's fair to say you're thinking about running for president in 2008. Uh, it's fair, yes. While fellow journalists and friends celebrated the man they knew and loved, even the consummate professional of them all couldn't help choking up. And to this country, he would always say, um, I hope I can get through this. Um, what a great country this is. What a country. What a country. After the show, his son took to the set. If you know Tim, that picture, um, that is so hard for a lot of us to look at. It really is. Um, you just have to kind of stop and let that sink in. That's all for today. We'll be back next week. If it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. Funeral arrangements have been set for this Wednesday and will actually be televised by MSNBC. Sarah. Sarah, it's so sad. You know, I met Tim Russert while covering the Nantucket Film Festival over the years. He and his wife have a house on the island, and Tim would often come to the NBC-sponsored Screenwriters Tribute at the festival. We talked once about his favorite films, and he said he enjoyed the so-called popcorn movies that critics often didn't like. I just remember how personable and easy to talk to he was. I had to remind myself that this was the same guy who was a major political player on the scene. He will be missed.